The year 2020 pushed in with a bang. The very soul of America, a global pandemic's prime target. An election brood, social justice protests ensued, all while something else was locked and loaded. A firearms phenomenon. We're getting people that come in who have said they've never wanted to own a gun. They, they never understood gun, gun ownership. And now they are in the store buying guns, taking training classes. Sal Gutierrez is an NRA certified instructor never, never who works at East Coast Surplus and Tactical in Asheboro. We get shipments daily and sales are, are extremely high and, and, and definitely profits are up. Um, the issue we have, you know, is that, you know, can this continue? Can we keep getting supplied? He said the hot ticket handguns are flying off the shelves and bullets almost non-existent. The biggest problem right now is ammunition. The supply is so strained, even Mayadan based Ruger warns customers of substantial manufacturing delays and triad law enforcement feels the phenomenon firsthand. And then when 2020 kicked in, it really soared. I'm like, wow, why does everybody want a gun? Yet Guilford County Sheriff Danny Rogers saw the writing on the wall. I, I don't really have an answer for it, <laughs> other than what I believe that we've seen throughout uh, our nation of how things have been going and how the climate has changed. Nationwide, the FBI logged a nearly 40% jump in firearm background checks from 2019 to 2020, the highest year on record by far. In Guilford County, nearly 12,000 pistol purchase permits issued in 2020, a 94% increase from 2019. But in Randolph County, existing gun owners wanted more. Concealed carry permits spiked 34%. Two years ago, we were doing five to six a day. Now we're doing 25 to 30 a day. So Randolph County Sheriff Greg Siebold said the pressure is on to process the paperwork. His office hired back retirees and logs hours of expensive overtime, all while putting forth pandemic parameters to keep patrons safe. If we make a change, it's going to benefit the citizens and so far it's working great. And every day gun shops adjust too as sales surge and demographics evolve. Nobody's missing out on this. So we're getting new gun owners, uh, female gun owners, first time gun owners, a lot of people of all ages too. Um, I've had people in my concealed carry class as old as 85. Gutierrez now teaches every weekend, even starting a course for women only. He knows there's no price on personal safety. A lot of my classes are filled with new shooters. And the most important thing I can stress to them is safety. Because nothing can unload the alternative. Uh, they have to do this right. The consequences for doing this wrong are high. In Ashboro, Mega Malaris, WFMY News 2.